Are you holding on to disempowering habits? Are you doing things that are making you feel less well, less successful, less content, less likely to continue to succeed? Some people talk about unproductive coping, and that could be something that we touch on in the future. But the question here, at this moment, is why are you holding on to these disempowering habits? And that might be just listening to somebody who is negative. That might be just surrounding yourself with people that you're almost envious of on social media. It's not fair for yourself to compare to those people who maybe had a head start, maybe started 10 years ago, maybe has won the genetic lottery, maybe has some opportunity that you haven't received yet. But that's not a, a reason to feel bad about it. And that's not a reason to follow them. It should be a positive association. You should feel motivated by it. It shouldn't be that you feel stressed and depressed and, and anxious because you haven't reached it. That's disempowering. That's unproductive. And what I'm asking you is to change that, to become more productive, to become more empowering. So surround yourself with positive, things that challenge you, things that inspire you, things that motivate you, but not in the stick part of the carrot in the stick sort of metaphor. You want it to be carrots, not sticks. Sticks get you started and sticks are powerful and sticks work for a lot of people, but they don't work in the long run. You need something greater to look for. You need something more empowering to strive for. So stop relying on disempowering habits. And that, if I use one other example, might be eating to feel better in some cases. It's perfectly reasonable. Most people do it. I understand why. But then when you start to reflect on your habits and you notice them and you name them and you, and you realize that this habit works to make myself feel better in that moment, but in the long run, it's disempowering. And I want to empower myself. So I'm going to choose otherwise. I'm going to find a plan. And I'm going to work to become more fulfilled, more empowered, more inspired, more motivated and it starts by eliminating anything and everything possible that might disempower you.